Okay, so here's a sign we did, and uh, this is for the dentist office, obviously, Ron. And um, <laughs> it's gonna be painful extractions. Yes, you don't want to go to this dentist. By Dr. Decay. Dr. Decay. Uh, this sign's gonna hang like this, and then we are gonna carve a foam tooth. And it's gonna have like a bunch of cavities and stuff like that, and it'll hang in the center on its own separate cable. Uh, we just finished building this little mounting bracket that's gonna go on the side of the building. And uh, we just got these eye bolts in here. We made these little brackets. And I am using this 16th inch airline cable. And I did, I only had a couple thimbles. Um, so I'm gonna put those down at this end so that the, uh, the uh, what are these, I, these, uh, <laughs> I can't remember, these, these links, <laughs> these quick links. <laughs> Sausage links? Yeah. <laughs> they will, uh. Hot links? Yeah. All right, so to do, to do this, for those of you who aren't familiar, you got these little sleeves and you just basically, be careful not to poke your fingers. Slide it through there, and you just tighten it right around that thimble there. There we go. You don't want that to slip off and hit someone. <laughs> no, this ah! this stuff is um, this is actually kind of overkill for something like this because this stuff is rated for like 400 or 500 pounds. We use it to, uh, we actually use eighth inch for our grapevines, but. Safety first. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, something like this, the eye bolt's gonna rip out before this cable ever breaks. But um, then you use this little crimper, crimper here. I used to have a crimper <laughs> for my hair back in the 80s. <laughs> in the 80s? In the 80s. You do a couple crimps on the sleeve there, and then uh, I can use this link to remove it if we want to. But we'll have that for each side. It doesn't look real western, but we'll spray paint it up and kind of make it go away. I don't think people are going to really care. I think they'll be like, oh good, they're safe. They're safe! Yeah, the uh, in case we ever get, <laughs> you know, fire marshals and... There weren't and airplanes back jazz. then, so there's no need for airplane cable. <laughs> 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 Maybe train cable. Train cable. Or wagon cable. Well, there you go. Mule cable. Hey, Horse this. cable. I could keep going, folks, but I know you're dying to have me stop. <laughs> <laughs> they sell this stuff at Home Depot, though. Um, it's good to know. Yeah. But not every town has a Home Depot. Well hardware store. Usually comes in <laughs> rolls. You can get uh, stainless steel or copper sleeves. Buttered um, cinnamon. Yeah, I have this and then I <laughs> have these cutters here that work pretty good. Awesome. Alright, so we got this. Um, that's the bottom and then the top was up there and then we took it down so we could work on it and I put all the um, the wood slats down there and we painted them and we just did it up. That's where the sign, the mm -hmm. sign, the sign is yeah. right there. It's like a puzzle piece now, but go from there. And uh, basically on the siding, these are all one by sixes and uh, the, uh, the one by three framing that's on the back side, it goes uh, on the two edges and then there's one piece in the, in the center. So when we shot these on, that's actually the only places that this siding's attached. So we just shot it, you know, once, twice, three times. A lady. <laughs> and that's pretty good because then that way when we want to rip this thing apart or if we want to make any changes or customize it or anything, it's easy to, uh, to, to take off. These up here, these corbels, they're just real simple uh, design, but we cut some, um, some two by six and I just uh, made one as a pattern, and then we just kind of made mix. several of them. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, we still have to age them and paint them. Um, this up here, I, I added this little lip to it to give it like a, a, a thicker look to it. The mount will go like right so. around there. I'm gonna pre-drill this, 
and then probably put that up and I'll probably put some uh, blocks on the back side, some pressure blocks, just to make sure that it's uh, a stronger connection. Cool. All right, we went ahead and hung up our dentist sign. <laughs> I'm not gonna loan any of my teeth. <laughs> you're like pretty, it. you're pretty smiley for uh, having painful extractions done. <laughs> we should get one of those uh, ties. Mm. <laughs> All right, guys, we have a door now for our barbershop slash dentist. And uh, we used the other side of the handle that we um, had on the Undertaker facade. So we are going to use that on this door. And uh, I think it looks really cool. I can't wait to see it on the facade. But first, I have to age it. So I'm going to do the steel wool and vinegar mixture. And I'm going to apply that. And then I'll hang it up and you guys can see what it looks like. I just put the vinegar mixture on so it's doing its thing and hopefully that'll dry. I may go over it again, but man, that looks like a legit Old West door. I am super stoked about this door. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. <laughs> Chris is like, I haven't even seen it yet. Poor guy. He's always behind the scenes attaching everything. I'm like, yeah, it looks really good. He's like, I could use her help over here. <laughs> All right, so here it is, up there, on the wall, up close, and it spins, which is wonderful, so either way, and I think it looks really good. Um, also, wanted to show you the tooth we made. And it's got some cavities in it. He didn't brush very good. <laughs> so there's our tooth we made. That's that's a molar. <laughs> molar. A molar. Um. But um, we uh hung it. This is hard to do one-handed. Um, we hung it up there. We uh we'll do something else. This is just temporary right now. We're gonna paint the trim. Uh, dry brush it red. So uh, I got a lot done on this one already. As you can see, I'll step back a little bit. So, uh, and then I uh, aged all of this wood right here with vinegar, and then I'm gonna go through and, and dry brush that as well. Man, that was so much fun. <laughs> I like doing stuff like that makes me feel creative not just building walls and painting like you actually have to think so oh Cujo and this is the final result wanted to show you guys before it gets too much darker um, so our sign our pole we went over all of the trim with kind of a dry brushed red and um, got in all the sides there and I think that's gonna look really good with whatever lighting we put on there so uh, yeah then over here this is the top section the red up there and the windows and our tooth and our pole and our door so the only thing left to do is just a few little touch-up things like I have to go and hit this little thing with white and then I noticed up here it's a fresh cut right there so I gotta do that brown and then some red but uh we got up there we even did the sides with the red and um the only other thing that we may do for detail on this uh, um, facade is put a piece of plexiglass right in there and then I'm gonna paint, you know, like leaching, extractions, um, you know, all that fun stuff, maybe. Um, we gotta find a piece of plexi, it's buried somewhere that'll fit right there. And uh, maybe some little curtains and yeah. Another one bites the dust.